The United States is the top spender in military technology for a long time and will continue to do so in the foreseeable future. With Russia and China ramping up its military, America is constantly upgrading its arsenal with state-of-the-art technologies. In this video, Defense Updates list the top five future weapons of the USA that will be deployed in the next decade. Let's get started. Intelligence is an important factor in any battlefield. Timely, accurate and relevant intelligence during military operations can give a nation massive tactical advantage. Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer of the iconic SR-71 Blackbird, will be coming up with SR-72. The SR-72 is a next-generation platform intended to provide intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. It will be able to penetrate even highly defended areas. SR-72 will be unmanned and to prevent enemies from detecting or intercepting it, the SR-72 will travel at hypersonic speed. It will have a velocity of around 4,000 miles per hour or Mach 6. That's six times faster than the speed of sound. SR-72 will employ a very advanced dual-mode engine that combines turbine and ramjet technologies to achieve those speeds. This drone is expected to enter service by 2030. Railgun uses electromagnetic energy to fire shells at speeds of Mach 5 to 7. It's touted to be the next game-changing military technology. The US Navy has asked General Atomics and BAE Systems to pursue this technology in parallel. The initial research is aimed at arming Navy ships with railguns. A railgun is a gun that uses just electricity, no gunpowder. The projectiles do not contain explosives or propellants but have extremely high velocities. Hence, railgun has much further range than conventional guns and uses the kinetic energy to inflict tremendous damage. A 32 megajoule prototype has been delivered by BAE Systems. This particular railgun delivers fire from up to 220 miles in range, around 10 times the distance capable of standard ship-mounted guns. Future ships will be armed with railguns with hundreds of rounds, instead of limited number of conventional missiles making them far more deadly. The system has the potential to play offensive as well as defensive role. Once fully operational, railgun could be used against warships and defend against incoming aircraft, cruise missile as well as ballistic missile. The US Air Force is awarding almost $1 billion to Lockheed Martin to develop a hypersonic missile. The missile could be launched from air and land initially and from the sea at later stages. Russia and China have made good progress in this field and the United States is trying to catch up. The idea is to develop a missile that can accelerate to the edge of space and then deploy multiple glide vehicles that will plummet back to earth at hypersonic speeds. A traditional ballistic missile follows a parabolic path, so the path can be predicted and there is a possibility of interception. But glide vehicles will be able to maneuver, taking an erratic, unpredictable path, making them very hard to intercept. B-21 Raider is Long Range Strategic Bomber LRSB, for the United States Air Force. Intended to be a heavy payload stealth aircraft capable of delivering thermonuclear weapons. It's envisioned to replace the Air Force's aging fleets of B-1, B-2 and B-52 strategic bombers, which have an average of 27 years. On the 25th of October 2013, Boeing and Lockheed Martin announced they are teaming up for the LRSB. The other participant was Northrop Grumman. On the 27th of October 2015, the Defense Department awarded the development contract to Northrop Grumman. The United States Air Force plans to purchase 80 to 100 LRSB aircraft. The initial value of the contract is $21.4 billion, but the deal could eventually be worth up to $80 billion. Though its specifications are still highly classified, the Raider is expected to be able to handle strategic bombing, tactical bombing and global strike, surveillance, reconnaissance, intelligence and electronic attack. The Raider will carry nuclear and heavy conventional payloads and is being specifically designed to counter next-generation anti-aircraft systems. The Columbia-class submarine will be the cornerstone of America's strategic sea-based nuclear delivery option in decades to come. 
it will replace the Ohio class ballistic missile submarines the first submarine is scheduled to begin construction in 2021 and enter service in 2031 they're expected to be in service till 2080 the United States plans to build 12 new Columbia class submarines each with 16 missile tubes these will house nuclear armed Trident 2 D5 missiles Trident 2 can be loaded with two types of MIRV the mark 5 MIRV can carry up to 14 w88 475 kiloton warheads while the mark 4 MIRV having the ability to carry 14 w76 100 kiloton warheads the new submarines are being designed to be harder to detect and have a lower maintenance downtime the submarine will be quieter and will not need a midlife refueling in order to complete 42 years of service the Columbia class will utilize many advanced systems deployed in Virginia class attack submarine like fly-by-wire joystick control system and large aperture bow array sonar thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve